Mr. Secretary General, uh, I would like to start with a question concerning the issue that shocked the Armenian society. A few days ago, Armenia suspended diplomatic relations with Hungary, which uh, repatriated an Azerbaijani murder officer uh, to Azerbaijan, where he was uh, pardoned and promoted to higher mil military rank. Eight years ago, he has killed uh, Armenian officer while attending NATO courses in Hungary. Uh, what is NATO's stance on this and will uh, the organization condemn uh, Azerbaijan and Hungary such a behavior? I am deeply concerned uh, by uh, the Azerbaijani uh, decision to pardon army officer uh, Safarov. Um, this very tragic this terrible incident happened uh, eight years ago, and it was a crime. And such a crime should not be glorified, uh, on the contrary. And the decision uh, taken uh, by Azerbaijan uh, damages trust, and it does not contribute uh, to peace and reconciliation. Um, having said that, it is also important uh, that we do not return to, to conflict. Uh, on the contrary, uh, it is crucial uh, to work um, uh, for a reduction of uh, tensions um, and promote uh, peace and uh, reconciliation. Uh, are you going to discuss this issue with Azerbaijani leadership during your visit to Baku? I will raise it. Uh, during my visit to Baku, and I will con convey this very clear message uh, to the Azerbaijani authorities. Mm -hmm. uh, the well-known position of NATO over Nagorno-Karabakh uh, conflict has been that it will not interfere in the conflict. But uh, what role do you see for NATO if it's, it escalates into a full-blown war? NATO has no intention um, uh, to interfere um, with this uh, conflict. We, we support uh, the Minsk group uh, as a framework uh, for uh, finding a solution. Um, we, we are clearly uh, in favor uh, of a process uh, that leads to uh, a peaceful solution uh, to, to this uh, conflict. Um, the security situation um, in this region um, is of utmost importance uh, to uh, NATO uh, allies uh, because the situation in this region may also have an impact uh, on the security situation in the Euro-Atlantic area. Mm -hmm. uh, the South Caucasus region is within the sphere of interest of NATO, which is uh, clear from the growing ties that uh, the organization has with its three republics. In this regard, uh, how do you see NATO's further cooperation with Armenia, considering uh, Armenia's allied tie uh, with Russia, and considering that Armenia has stated several times that it, uh, it, it haven't any purpose in its political agenda to become a full member of NATO? Yeah, we um, um, we respect and uh, we appreciate uh, Armenia's uh, balanced. Uh, foreign and, and security policy. And let me stress, um, there's no contradiction uh, between uh, having uh, good relations uh, with uh, Russia and at the same time uh, to have uh, a well-functioning partnership uh, with uh, NATO. Uh, let me add to that, that NATO itself actually has a special relationship uh, with uh, Russia. Um, uh, Russia is a special partner. Uh, we have a NATO-Russia Council um, within which uh, we have uh, an ongoing dialogue with, uh, with Russia. Um, I think it, it contributes uh, to the overall uh, security in the Euro-Atlantic area uh, that we continue that constructive and positive dialogue uh, between uh, NATO and uh, Russia. Do you believe that uh, Armenia and NATO, NATO cooperation can be uh, more than IPAP program? Well, I, I see potential uh, for further development uh, of uh, our uh, partnership. Uh, obviously, it's very much uh, up to Armenia 
to, to decide uh, her relationship uh, with uh, NATO. But within the current framework, I, I think there is a potential for um, uh, a, a strengthened uh, co cooperation. Uh, for instance, uh, when it comes to practical military uh, cooperation, um, we appreciate very much that uh, Armenia uh, contributes to NATO-led operations uh, in Afghanistan, in uh, Kosovo, and, and we are very grateful for that uh, contribution. Armenian troops and troops from um, NATO countries uh, have learned to work together uh, during these uh, missions. And I think it's of utmost importance that we continue such work uh, to, to make sure that uh, our armed forces can actually work uh, effectively together, because that will make it easier also to participate in, in future uh, international peacekeeping uh, missions. So, so that's one example uh, that we can further develop uh, practical cooperation and partnership. Mm -hmm. Uh, NATO member NATO member Turkey is often accused of blockading Armenia. What is NATO's view on the possibility of Armenia's uh, normalization uh, with Turkey, which many experts believe is responsible for the failure of the 2009 normalization protocols? And do you see a possibility for the opening of the Turkish-Armenian border? And will NATO press Turkey over this issue? NATO as an alliance uh, will not uh, interfere with what we consider a bilateral uh, question uh, between Turkey and uh, Armenia. Um, that's for the two countries to, to, to solve uh, outstanding uh, issues. Um, but of course, uh, we express the hope uh, to see uh, an improvement uh, of, of the relations. And my last question, uh, two major current crises in the region have been of great concern to Armenia, which has a sizable uh, ethnic community in Syria, and uh, relies, Armenia relies on Iran as one of its gateway to outside world. Uh, what prospects do you see for the resolution of the, uh, these crises in Syria and Iran, and uh, what impact it may have on Armenia, in, on the region, and in particular on Armenia? Um, I understand very much um, Armenian concerns. Um, um, let me stress that uh, NATO has no intention to intervene uh, militarily uh, in uh, Syria. Uh, we uh, follow, we monitor the situation uh, closely, not least because one of our allies, uh, Turkey, is a neighbor uh, of uh, uh, Syria. Uh, and uh, we stand ready uh, to, to do what it takes uh, to uh, protect and defend our ally, um, uh, Turkey. But we have no intention to uh, intervene militarily in Syria because we do believe uh, that a political solution to the problems um, uh, is uh, needed. Uh, obviously, the Assad regime uh, has lost all legitimacy. Um, uh, and uh, we urge the Syrian leadership uh, to um, initiate a, a, tr a transition process leading to uh, democracy um, uh, in uh, Syria and accommodate the legitimate aspirations uh, of, of the Syrian uh, people. As regards um, uh, Iran, um, NATO as an alliance is not engaged in uh, the uh, Iran uh, question. Individual allies are, but, but NATO as an alliance is not. Obviously, we, we follow the situation um, uh, closely, uh, and uh, we urge uh, the Iranian uh, leadership uh, to fulfill um, uh, its uh, international uh, ob obligations uh, and uh, stop uh, the Iranian uh, enri enri enrichment program. Mr. Secretary General, thank you very much for the interview. You're welcome. Thank you.